So what will have to change in a southwest Guilford County neighborhood for a new STEM school to be built? For weeks, as we've been reporting, homeowners have lost sleep over it as school leaders pushed forward with their plans. Good evening. Welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. I'm Katie Nordeen. People who will be affected feel they are not being included in the conversation, so now they are setting up their own meetings. Fox 8 Sarah Winkleman is live at the corner of Boylston Road and Bunker Hill in Colfax with the biggest issue right now. Well, they want to know why this intersection is the best place to put a new school. And you can see at this intersection, at this stop sign, it's become a bulletin board for upcoming meetings to talk about this issue. And here, they've even organized their own meeting next week just to get together all on the same page as this moves forward. It's an intelligent group around here, um, and we're coming together to find out more information to figure out how this is really going to impact us. The biggest concerns are safety and traffic along the rural roads. The community, we've come together, we're updating documentation just on eyewitness uh, wreck accounts that we've seen over the past couple years. The school district's legal team believes it has solutions to the anticipated increase in traffic. Widening roads, adding turn lanes, adding storage stacking. Amanda Hodiern says there's talk of making this turn a three-way stop. Homeowner Ann Blankenship doesn't think that's the right solution. They're not going to work. I mean, they look pretty on paper or they look like they believe that that's an answer. But as a resident here for 24 years, it's not going to work. If you've got people stopping up there and you've got two or three Amazon trucks in there, an old Dominion 18-wheeler in there, you've got the car rider lines in there, it's going to be gridlock. They are proud to call this area home and want it to stay the way that it is. This farm has been in my husband's family for 110 years. It's full of history, it's family legacy, it's something that we look forward to passing on to our children, grandchildren, etc. And so the school would have a huge impact. If there does have to be a K-8 STEM school here to ease overcrowding, people want transparency on the plans. We just really don't like the secrecy and how the school system originally approached residents. Superintendent Dr. Whitney Oakley plans to keep the neighbors involved as they move forward. I think um, a little bit more time and attention to how decisions or recommendations are made present a lot of opportunity. In the meantime, longtime homeowners are preparing to present their position. Be able to present a coherent argument for alternate locations, um, for the problems with this location, uh, draw on everyone's expertise from the area. I'm passionate about it because I love this area. It's quiet, it's rural, and I just don't think it's appropriate for school to be here. And they want to gather up all of the neighbors that feel the same way they do at this meeting, May 2nd at 6 p.m. They're going to discuss all of those things. So as a united front, they can continue to go to these zoning meetings that are scheduled for later in May. Live in uh, Guilford County, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.